back to my channel. Of course, you can't do holiday makeup without incorporating a red lip somewhere, so I had to do that today. And what better red to use than the one that everybody's talking about right now, and that is the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. Guys, this is so absolutely stunning. I cannot. I ordered this online at Sephora, and I literally got it in the mail today, so I just, like, had to come film this look. Did a little classic holiday glam with the bold liner and a red lip. And of course we had to throw some glitter in there. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So first things first, I already have my eyebrows done and I've also already primed my face. And it's probably why my face looks a little bit weird because for some reason it kind of gave my face like a white-ish cast. This is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexin Complexion Primer. It has rose hip and argan oil in it so I don't know if and it's kind of a pinkish shade. This is a sample that I got. Um, anyways, I don't know if that's why my face has like this white cast but... It's okay because we're about to fix it. I also don't mind my face. I recently started taking these pills. They, they're supposed to help um, with gut health and water health and all this stuff. Anyways, it is causing my skin to break out. Like, do you see that? Like, that is awful. All this was not here until I started taking these pills. So I don't think I'm going to be able to continue taking them because I can't have my skin looking like these. So for foundation today, I wanted to be a cute and match my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the family today. I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. And I'm in the shade 330. I'm just going to be taking a few pumps of that on my Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. And applying that all over my face. Now that summer's over, I might need a new shade. It's not. I'm not sure yet. It's to be determined. But, whatever the outcome, we're going to make it work for the sake of this video. <laughs> and it could just be because of that primer left my face extra white looking is why I'm saying that. Alright, then for concealer, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is just in the neutralizer shade. And concealing those mommy bags because let me tell you, between being sick and still having to be a mom and all of that, you know, the bags are real. Right, now I'm just going to be setting that with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm just going to let that set just for a minute, not as long as I normally do, just because my under eye was already bright enough in my book, so yeah, just a minute. Okay, just taking a brush, I'm just going to dust that away. So, moving right on into the eyes, taking my <laughs> Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be going in right here with this shade called Pooter. And I'm going to be taking it on this a big fluffy blending brush here. And I'm going to be working that all the way into my crease. And the reason why I'm taking such a big blending brush is because I don't want it to be so precise. I just want it to kind of be not so much messy, but just in the crease, but kind of all over the eye as well. Next, I'm going to be going in right here with the shade called Buns. And I'm going to be working that just a little bit below my crease, but in my outer V. And then just really, really lightly, I'm going to grab the shade Central Park right here. So I'm going to take that and work that in my outer V as well, just to deepen up just a little bit more. I 
And lastly, I'm just going to be grabbing this shade right here. It's called MFEO. And I'm just going to take just a little bit of that and just dab it right there. Right there on the center of my lid. Alright, moving on to the liner. I'm just going to be grabbing this black liquid liner from Black Radiance Beauty. And I'm going to give myself a wing. She's a little bit dramatic, but that's okay. That's what we want because, again, the lips and the liner is are the main attractions for this look. And we also want more room to play with glitter. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so that eye is done. And I also went ahead and put a, a little bit of black eyeliner in my waterline. So now it's time for that bottom lash line. I'm going to be going back in with the shade Buns again. And I'm just going to be working that all the way across. Alright, and going back in right here with the shade Central Park. So we're grabbing that and just keeping that right here on the end. Alright, so now that that is done, it's moving on to the best part ever. <gasps> Glitter! We're taking this NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner in the shade Crystal Gold. I'm going to take this and run a line directly on top of the black liner I just did. And you may have to go over it a couple times just so it will be as pigmented and glittery as you would like. But that's okay. And don't worry if you get some of the glitter into the black. That's okay because you can just go back in and correct that with your black liner at the end like that I don't know if you can, guys can even see it yet too much but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of fan that and let it dry and then once it dries I'm gonna go over it a few more times until I get it how I like it all right so that's what we have I also took just a little bit and put it right here on my inner corner as well I didn't do as much as I did on the top but just a little little same thing <laughs> Right, so now that we have that, I think it's just time to go ahead and just complete this look and give it this final touch. Of course. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to move on to the rest of the face. Um, I'm going to be starting with some blush and bronzer, and I'm probably just going to speed through it because it is nothing you guys have not seen before. <laughs> Now for highlight, I'm going back into this sleek makeup palette. Let's be going in with this gold powder shade right here. Alright, and lastly, we're going to be moving on to the star of the show, and that is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Un censored guys i'm so excited to finally have this in my hands so let's take her out of the package i'm pretty sure y'all have already seen these online everywhere because i know i have so this is what it looks like and first of all can we talk about this packaging like y'all this is stunning it is stunning oh my gosh Let's go ahead and open her up. This is what the applicator looks like. It is like nothing I have seen before. At least I don't have a lip product in my collection that looks like this. And I'm pretty excited. It's totally innovative and different. And from the way that it is shaped, it looks like it's going to be so easy to apply to the lips. So let's test it out, shall we? And just real quick so there's no confusion, the shade name is actually Uncensored. I know there's probably a lot of confusion about that because just the way that they're advertising it online. I myself thought that the shade name was actually Stunna, but it's not. It is Uncensored. It's a Stunna lip paint. So, just in case any of you were just as confused as I was <laughs> at first. Before we apply, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NYX lip liner 
uh, and this is in the shade Hot Red. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this without a lip liner. It may very well work that way. It's just me. I always apply a lip liner for the most part with any lip product that I use, especially, especially, especially a red because reds are dangerous, y'all. Obviously, I've never used this, but typically anything red is dangerous. Like, it will stain anything. So, I always go in with a lip liner um, especially with the red, just so it doesn't um, bleed out or anything like that. Now the fun part. Ah! I'm so like giddy and excited. Mm. Ooh. So no smell. At least not that I can since I don't want to put it too close to my nose because my look I would get it all over my face okay so I brought you guys in just a little bit more so y'all can experience this with me I'm so excited oh oh she's definitely pigmented and this applicator definitely makes it so easy to apply to the lips The top lip especially. Because it like fits right there in the grooves of your top lip. It's like perfect. Y'all, look how stunning this red is. Like I am living. Okay, so that is only one coat and it is definitely pigmented enough. But I just want to go ahead and do one more coat because I just want to. But as you can see, my lips are definitely covered with just the one. Okay, so it went on so smooth. It feels delightful on your lips. Like, it is so lightweight. It has kind of a matte finish, but it doesn't feel matte at all. Like, it feels feels more like of a satin. It's really nice and smooth on the lips. I, I love it. It's not drying at all. Mm. And the color, this shade of red is just like... Okay, so let's just finish off with some setting spray and we're done. Alright guys, so that is it. This is the completed look. Very simple, very easy, very glam holiday look. And, and that Stunner Lip Paint, honey, don't mind my hair because it has a mind of its own right now. It is raining outside and my hair is filling the frizz and the humidity. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not going to ramble on and make this outro too entirely long because my camera is blinking red. It is dying on me as we speak and I don't want it to die in the middle of me speaking. So, ooh, what is my hair doing? Anyways, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed. All the makeup that I used today will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you're not following me on my Instagram, you can do so right here. It is at underscore Bria Simone underscore. Alright, that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you in the next one.